Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacam.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys a volcano. Now, volcano is a feature like this where you have one surface and a raised surface and a smooth transition that connects to it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just going to put this away and I do have a set of surface that I already have um, established it like this. So I'm going to actually show you guys two techniques. So let's start with the first one. Now this one I do think is a little bit smoother, um, but there can be limitations. So I'm going to show you guys a second method as well. All right, so in order to do this, uh, what I would suggest is just, well, get two surfaces that you want to connect and I'm just going to go ahead and project a curve like this. And now let me just move this away. And I'm just going to connect the two with a freeform blend. So side one is going to be curvature. Uh, this is going to be curvature here and it's just going to be position over here. Now you can make it an edge line, but sometimes it does things like this. Oh, actually, you know what? It does need to be the other way. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make it default like this. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. It's going to be default over here. Now, if you look at the transition, you'll see that the highlight flows nicely from one side to the other. So that is good. And now I do need to connect the two using a fillet. So now let's go ahead and put a blend curve here since um, I think this is a pretty good size. I'm just going to use the edit over here just to make sure that it matches up nicely. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the uh, on the top. Uh, now I'm going to use a curve fillet though. So let's go ahead and well, maybe make it, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So uh, maybe 80 or if I, well, I think 100 is not too bad either. So now I'm just going to connect the dots from here to here and here to here. Now when I'm doing this, I do prefer uh, to use a trim convert. So let's go ahead and project here and I'm just going to project here like this. And I'm just going to do a trim convert over here and over here. Now these, uh, because I trim convert the surfaces, I no longer need this. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And now I'm just going to connect the two using square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four like this. And that should be good. All right. So of course I do need to uh, discard that. So let's go ahead and project from the top like this. And let's take a look. And of course I do need to do the same thing over here. Now I think the transition looks pretty good and of course the CV structure is going to be pretty clean as well. Now if you do want a little bit more lead-in, you can do that uh, also. So right now I have a very, I guess, a very even CV structure, but if you want this to be a little bit smoother, you can of course uh, do a little bit more lead-in on the fillet. But I think it looks good enough, so let's go ahead and duplicate it over to the other side. So I'm just going to, well, um, here's what I'm going to do. Because this is a symmetrical over here, I think I'm just going to copy and paste all of them and just rotate it instead of having to make it all over. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one, this one, this one, and just project like this. Of course, I do need to see what's over here. So let me just hide this one. So I'm just going to, actually, you know what? Uh, since I'm going to need it for a second set, I'm going to hide these ones as well and just copy paste it like that. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the CUS over here and I'm just going to establish a new CUS like this. And now let's go ahead and trim over here. I'm going to trim this one, this one, and let's see. Oh, I, do, I don't think I projected over there. So I'm going to trim this one as well. All right, so that is done. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the curves over here and let's take a look. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's hide the grid for a second. And all I'm going to do is just group it. I'm gonna say duplicate mirror like this and I'm just going to group it. Oh, well, you don't have to group it. I'm just going to group uh, mirror again and there it is. So nice feature. It's got a raised feature and that connects really smoothly from the bottom to the top. And that's how you do the first one. All right. Now that's our word. There are, well, this one does have some limitations. So sometimes if you have a feature that's going sideways, uh, it might not work. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a second version. Now it's not as smooth as the first one, but sometimes this does work a little bit better. So let me show you this. 
So first of all, I'm just going to delete the COS over here like this. And I'm just going to use the existing COS and I'm just, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to do a curve offset over here like this. And I'm, just, I'm not going to do a blend and maybe offset it 20 mils. Well, uh, maybe a little bit more, 30 mils like this and what i'm going to do now is instead of well let me first project and what i'm going to do is instead of just uh, using a freeform blend with g on one side i'm just going to make it flat like this and again i'm just going to do default over here and do the same thing over here now the reason why i do this is because let's say you are transitioning this into a different surface or a different one uh, sometimes it is better to have a theoretical like this so now uh, now that this is established let's go ahead and put a fillet over here and for this purpose i am going to actually use a fillet so let's go ahead and well you can do either cord or ex, uh, existing uh, well existing might not work but you can do a pill theoretical doesn't really matter and i'm going to say g2 over here like this and for the quarter length let's uh make it a little bit bigger so let's start with 50 and see how that does okay so i'm going to make it a lot bigger so i'm going to say 100 mils over here and it, i don't want it to be auto i'm just going to make it default like this and i'm going to do the same thing on this side all right so let's just look at the transition that also looks pretty smooth uh looks nice now the advantage of this one is that while well, it's got a flat surface it's uh, it's got a theoretical so let's say you want to blend it to a different feature it really works nicely um always having that theoretical it's really controlled all right so i'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history on everything and i'm just going to go ahead and hide the curves as well uh, the COS is no longer needed, so let's get rid of that. And of course, I do need to uh, make a transition between all of these. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'm going to use uh, some things uh, similar. Uh, now, as far as the fillet size goes, let's make it uh, the same size as the previous. Well, actually, it's a little bit bigger, so I think I'm going to go a little bit bigger as well. All right, so I'm just going to grab a blend curve from here like this. And I'm just going to make sure that the direction that it's going in is okay. There it is. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to do a curve fill over here like this. Okay, so 100, I think 100 should be good. And I'm just going to connect the dots from here to here. Now, if you were doing this um, without trim converting it, uh, what I would, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let me show you both. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history over here. And let's go ahead and untrim over here and here. Now, you, uh, it might actually not uh, be a bad idea to, if you are not doing a trim convert, to uh, make a curve here and do that. But since I'm trim converting it, uh, well, really, uh, it's really up to you. Uh, you know what? Let's just make it simple. So I'm just going to project here, and I'm just going to project here, and I'm just going to project here and here like this. And now I'm just going to do a trim convert to just make a clean transition like this over here. And I think those are good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hide this one over here. And when you're doing this, well, there are several things you could do. Um, the curve, uh, on the other hand, I don't need. Now, if you were to just grab a freeform blend, you could try that. Uh, of course, that would probably be uh, the quickest. And well, I'm pretty sure it actually creates a pretty good transition. So actually, you know what? Let's keep it this way. I think that's, uh, well, let's try to keep it simple. Obviously, it's going to, it's not going to be a perfect fit, but I think it will work. All right, so let's take a look. Um, so I'm just going to make sure of one thing, and that is sometimes if I do a freeform blend, uh, it does have a little bit of CV structure problem. Now, I think this is probably due to the fact that it's uh, not, um, how do I say it? It's based on a flat surface, so it's probably uh, showing me some deviation here. Now, that's our word. Let's see if I can try to make it a little bit better. So I'm just going to turn on CV structure over here. Okay, so I, the 1.0 exactly, um, that's... That is probably due to the fact that this surface is completely flat. It doesn't mean it's not curvature. It probably is. It's just that the system is not able to 
correctly calculated. Now, uh, I'm going to do 5,000 over here, and I'm just going to see if I can just reduce the curvature deviation over here, and I think I might be able to do it. Let's take a look. So I'm just going to, well, uh, maybe not. I'm starting to think they might not. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, I'm just going to turn surface continue on like this, and let's take a look. Now, because of this one point over here, it doesn't display the... Um, alignment over here. So what I can do is I can sometimes you are able to get it uh, at 1.0 with this one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to say edge. Actually, you know what? I think the CV structure might not be properly aligned. So let's go ahead and see if I get this to be lined up correctly. So I'm just going to align over here and it's edge. I'm going to align this one over here and it's edge. And it doesn't look like there is a little bit of curvature deviation, but I think I should be able to do a little bit of CV manipulation and see if I can get that corrected. And there it is. All right, so now everything is curvature and it looks nice. Okay, like I said, it, this one, because it is based on a theoretical, you'll see that there is a little bit of transition between here and here. Uh, but of course, because it does have a theoretical, uh, so the transition over here is not smooth. So if you look at this transition over here, there's a little bit of break. So it's not as smooth as the previous one. Um, so let's just get this one over here. I'm just going to copy and paste it like this just to uh, so that we can do a side by side comparison. So if you look at the transition over here, it's not as smooth. It's a, because of this one, it's just one sweep from the bottom to the top. Whereas this one, there is a slight break as you can see over here. But both techniques are, I think, a, creates pretty good transition. If you want to make it smooth, you just have to move the tangent line. Now, that's not our word. Let's go ahead and move this out. So, uh, or complete it. So, let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab a curve again. Just going to snap it over here, snap it over here, like this. And I'm just going to project this one. And I'm going to grab everything over here and I'm going to project again. So, now let's go ahead and trim here, here, here here and here, and of course I do need to trim out the corner, so let's go ahead and do that too. So the curves are no longer needed, and that looks looking good. So now let's group it like this. I'm going to duplicate it to the other side, grab both and duplicate it again, but over YZ instead. All right, so now you got a nice transition, a very smooth transition like this. But of course, you'll see that the shape is a little bit different from this one. So let's actually do a comparison over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one and just move it out. Oops. I'm going to put it on the default layer. And you'll see that there is a little bit of characteristic dif uh, difference between the two. Uh, this one, like I said, because it's based on a theoretical, uh, a primary surface at that transition, it looks more like a pyramid instead of a pure volcano. And of course, that there are some characteristic difference as well. But both are, well, they are creating very smooth transition from one surface to the other. All right, so that is how to create a volcano. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.